as for getting the seal in that's a real trick you know because you're shooting in through all of this it's hard to get a hammer in there and tap it and get everything just right let me show you what I do for that this is the old seal that came out of it and you can see there's all these little ding marks all around it from screwdrivers and whatnot and this actually got dented in a couple of places because you know a screwdriver will reach in there but then that's the drawback and cause your new seal to fail and these can be a little bit of a pain to find so here's our new seal because uh, the dealership's closed after hours take a socket this one happens to be a 45, 45 millimeter harbor freight socket from China and you take the lip of it because you can't get the thing to work right so you start from one corner and this actually works to your advantage and you push it against this way and you twist it slowly gently one way and then the other it'll actually hold the seal for you and then you take an extension like this three inch extension this is all three quarter inch drive it's beefy and then you get this you can either put permutex right stuff on it or you can put grease on it or whatever gasket makers a good call as long as you keep it away from being on the inside of here and even then it would be fine just take a little grease put that there put a little gasket maker on the outside and just tap it in by the way this is a c59 transmission driver side output shaft seal look at the difference in the size on these things it's enormous e531 c59 that's the only one i know i actually wrote it on the transmission so we'll have it for reference next time just a little bit to keep her sliding There's a little method in how I'm holding this. My fingertips are touching both the transmission and the outer edge of the seal. And I'm hitting the back of this thing in different places as it needs. Ta-da!